Zero FXB, let's unbox the Z Bit X transceiver. All mode, all ban. You can see it's been tested there. And open source. In your pocket, CW FT8 decoder. This is what you get in the box. So on the side, you've got room here for two 18650 batteries. And then you've got the cable just here that plugs in six to nine volts. And I have found a six to nine volt. Uh, power supply that I can use. The other interesting thing here is on the top there you've got a connection for cat. Now this is effectively underneath here it's effectively a Raspberry Pi Zero W. You've got the HDM EMI out, you've got the key, the mic, I think the E is for external speaker because I plugged in a speaker into that cat USB port there and because it's a Raspberry Pi you can use VNC viewer to view the display, oh, nice sort of heat sink there. This is like hand built, if you ask me. I was looking at the teardown uh, photographs. This is this is a hand built device, solid BNC there. You can, you know, 3D make your own cases, but I'm very, very pleased with this case. And I've just, just now, I, I plugged in my a USB power there, plugged in a HDMI out to my 50 inch TV. And I updated the firmware. The screen wasn't even on. It would, it just turned on the Raspberry Pi. You'll see there if I just plug that in and it starts to flash green inside. I just want you to know that you can do that. So let's plug in some power and my, hey, I've got a wire here, 49 to 1 ballon and a 66 foot length of wire. This decodes CW, it decodes FT8 and it does it all on screen without an, another computer because don't forget this is a computer. So I just plug the power in and uh, it's pretty instant, isn't it? I've already updated the firmware, which was, and I'll make a, a dedicated video to it. But when you plug into the top USB here, it says USB, it then and then go to the output, the video output, you effectively go to the straight to the Raspberry Pi. So you still see this sort of screen here, but you also see there it goes. Uh, you also see the Raspberry Pi in the background. You've got the start window. You've got, you've got your Bluetooth showing on the output and you can add your Bluetooth. I've already added a Bluetooth keyboard, added my Wi-Fi, which allowed it to then time sync for FTA. And also let me grab my keyboard. And you're not gonna see the output of the Raspberry Pi in this video, but um, it was just a folding keyboard. So just for now, we're just gonna have a quick look at it as it is. I mean, you can see it is beautiful. It comes with the stylus. They also give you an, an Allen key here, okay? And you can touch it with your fingers if you want. And um, we'll be on 7169. I haven't touched anything. There's no tuner here, but we can connect a tuner to it. It's 5 watt, and it can, uh, apparently it can go a bit higher than 5 watt. So as you touch the items, uh, let's just tap here. It's actually better with my finger, wasn't it? Um, so you want a soft one, I would say. You can lower the volume. And you tap here, and you, it changes the mode. Or when you when anything that's highlighted, also can be changed and selected uh, because that's a push button there and you can see digi mode ft8 we'll look at that in a minute lower sideband touch that and then now we're and then if we touch audio it's only a small speaker and we've got the bandwidth the step the span the reason you've got this screen the way you're seeing it is because this is where we're going to do the FT8 decoder, which I've not done before. Uh, so let's just go menu here, and then we can choose uh, 20 meters and change the mode. And we did, we have to remember, so we just because that was highlighted. The modes there and then we tap this and now we can change the frequency upper sideband yeah it's not great at night for me the upper sideband so go back to 40 a minute uh, 40 and then run lsb uh, see what i've done again And remember, this is a transceiver. I can talk, I can transmit. 
And when you transmit, let's just say, uh, warning for the exit to start. Because I've, I've never, oh, I see what it is. It's the wrong amount of amps to transmit. Okay. So we won't do it in this video. Got a little mic here as well. That's going to be a game. Transmit. And it's giving me that warning again. So let's go down to F2 and FT8 frequency. So if we move that to FT8. And then tap here, 7074, we want. Now, we, I would say we need to set our call sign. Delete. And I'm doing this after never using this device before. So M, uh, where's the numbers? Zero, so full keypad. B. Grid number. Do that again. I O A T one. Oops. Let's. Uh, how do we enter? We just click the X. Yeah, grid, pass key, okay, close. Oh my god, it's already there. Now this was $197 delivered anywhere in the world. So apparently you can just tap on this screen and scroll up and down, choose one that you like, press it, and it starts to transmit. So it's not doing it at the moment. Maybe, maybe it's a different button. You've got secure, call, reply, 7-3, pitch. Of course, it hasn't got enough power to transmit. But it's decoding. Look at that. And if we just... Let's try... CW. There. Reduce your power supply voltage. Um, transmit, reduce the power supply voltage. Yeah, it doesn't like the power supply voltage that I'm putting there because I am to a full nine volts and it actually recommends six to nine. So fair enough. But I think it is starting to, it is starting to try and decode. So I'm not going to try and transmit again. Now you've got different adjustments here, pitch, ETC. So I'm sure that adjusting that's going to make a lot of difference and fine tuning it. And the step, let's get that quite fine. Let's try that. Oops. It's fast, isn't it? I think we want it finer than 10, don't I? Let's try that. Oh, some voice there. Yeah, well, I don't think we're going to do it in this video. Let me use it, read the manual more. A lot of settings down here. You've seen the setting, that's nice and simple. Menu is the band, ADC, VFO and split. Let's do, what does wipe do? Does it start it again? And then open, oh there's a logbook, okay. Didn't know you had a logbook in there. IF, RIT, drive, I'm guessing that's the power, look. CW mode, audio. So I think it's actually quite a simple device really. Let's change the mode LSB. BNC connector there.
So I think that's enough for this video. I'm going to make a video showing you how to connect to it via VNC. So you can view this on your PC just using Wi-Fi. Also connecting the HD output and record from that. Adding the batteries, which are just, they're just flat tops. You don't want the ones with the tops that stick out. They've got to be completely flat, so be careful putting them in. Because they look the same both sides. And um, So that's it. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. More videos to come. 7-3. All the best.